Welcome back everyone to another video. I am Dirch and in this one I wanted to talk about Gearbox doing another pre-sequel and I know for a good chunk of Borderlands fans this was not their favorite game but uh I really hope that we do see another TPS and what I mean by another pre-sequel not necessarily a sequel to this game but after they make Borderlands 3, uh, about, you know, whatever, similar time frame to this, to Borderlands 2, is they give another development house uh, a crack at making a Borderlands game using the same Borderlands 3 engine, whatever that is. There he is. I knew another one was going to spawn. Because, I, for me, the pre-sequel's just brought so many good new ideas to the franchise and no it was not as good as Borderlands 2 but it still did a lot of things better than Borderlands 2. First thing to start with is getting uh, skill points at level 3 I think that's a huge improvement but also be able to move down the skill trees faster by having the uh, one point tier and it just gave you a lot faster progression and uh, to me, a better just kind of feel of the game. And I, I hope to see that again. Because that, to me, was a ton of fun. Um, I mean, there's still things I didn't like as good. But uh, making the relic slot actually affect more. Uh, you know, managing your uh, slam damage in O2 stat, I think, was a damn good move. Uh, I think skill trees in general were a lot better designed. Uh, storytelling was way better. Uh, letting the narration change for new dialogue in the different playthroughs rather than just staying the same every playthrough. Uh, that brought new life to it. Having the characters actually react to the story rather than just kind of being, you know, blind pawns through it was a big improvement. And there's just a lot of good things overall. Um, I think Cryo is a better, a much better version of uh, a debuff than Slag. And although I liked UVHM in uh, Borderlands 2 better, I like the fact that the UVHM in this one wasn't just general scaling. It really depended on the enemy, you know, shields and badasses got different buffs. It wasn't just this flat buff. And that, to me, was a lot funner. I guess more fun would be the proper word. But yeah, I would, I would love to see uh, more of what we got in this game. And... I think that's just going to help Gearbox make better uh, Borderlands games in the future is by getting in outside ideas. And I know it's way too early for even a thing like that to happen, but I really hope they do do that again. I don't know what the chances are of it. Um, a lot of people say that you know the pre-sequel is an utter failure, but we never really saw financials on it. We don't know that for a fact. Um, I have a feeling it sold enough to make them good money. Uh, and I know the 2K Australia went under after this game came out, but I also read stuff that like tax laws changed there, and there's a bunch of stuff that made it financially unsound to continue it. Where it wasn't just this game, and uh, even this game fa did really well, they were going to close it anyways, and all that stuff. So, like I said... Not entirely sure on all that. But yeah, this game, I don't know, it's, it does so much so well. It does a lot better. Um, I've been playing quite a bit of it lately. Uh, me and my friend Katie Waffles have been doing a new playthrough on it. And uh, yeah, I've been having just a blast uh, getting back into the pre-sequel and playing it again. Because I just love the characters. I love the character design. There's some really cool level designs. Again, things like the Vein of Helios. Like, we didn't see anything like that in BL2.
God damn it, this is just, yeah. I just love her. So yeah, I would really, I really hope that Gearbox does this again with uh, BL3 and, you know, take their time on BL3, kind of rewrite the engine, but then uh, after you do that, come back and, you know, get, get another one of these out there and just keep bringing new ideas to the franchise because I think that's going to be really important for the franchise to just really do well. Where is this guy? There we go. And where's the last record? So that's all I really have to say on that matter. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. Do you would you like to see Gearbox, you know, do this again with another company and kind of partner up with them and help expand the universe or do you just want to see them keep it more internal and not do this? That's it for today. I will see you guys later. Bye.